Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into this next very special video. People seem to really enjoy the last video and I think this one will have a similar reception. Hope you enjoy. As you already know, you can resupply at a Sunderer. However, what you may not be aware of is when you go to repair a Sunderer, it's under attack and the heat tool that you're using to repair the Sunderer reaches its maximum amount. And so you can't repair anymore without waiting. Now here's two little tips. First off, you can resupply at that Sunderer to immediately resupply your um, repair tool as well. And so the heat mechanic on that goes back down to zero and you can repair again. And so that makes repairing a lot more efficient. Likewise, what you can do if you're trying to keep a repair Sunderer alive is throw a repair grenade at it, then repair it until your heat tool is about to run out, then resupply, throw another repair grenade, and then keep using your heat tool. You can also combine this with the under barrel grenade launcher, but only from the NS66 Punisher. And basically what this under barrel repair does is it increases your vehicle's HP by 500, and it also gives your vehicle 250 repair over five seconds. And so you can use this and repair grenades and the repair tool in combination to give you a bunch of extra repair, and that's extra sustain, especially in combination with fire suppression. You can use all of that to keep your Sunderer a lot more alive more than it normally would be. Another really useful tip that I found out like two years ago and should help you a bunch too, is you can look and move around whilst overloading a generator. You don't just have to stand there looking at the generator without moving your cursor or without moving physically. So yeah, being able to strafe whilst you overload a generator, it, it just does make things a lot easier. And likewise, being able to defend yourself whilst you're overloading a generator does help a bunch just keep holding down e whilst you're near it once you've initiated it and yeah it's just a super useful tip it helps a bunch especially because generators do provide you with extra stars another little tip here that's pretty related is you can just tap e instead of holding down the generator or the terminal and it will do the same thing as holding it down and again that's just such a useful tip for being able to defend yourself and something a lot of people really don't utilize as much as they should another really useful tip that i use very often is when you're a medic, whilst you're re reviving someone, you can move away if you want to oftentimes and go behind the doorway. So you can basically quickly peek to revive the person, then go out of sight and you can still continue to revive the person, again, even though you shouldn't be able to, as long as you're like within distance, you can revive them irrespective of if there's any terrain in the way. This is something I pretty much always use. It's just such a useful medic tip. The next tip I'm going to give arguably isn't super strong, but it is something to keep in mind. And that is that you can park a Valkyrie underneath biolabs or likewise have an ant with scout radar. And it does technically provide you EXP for each kill. Now I will say I knew someone who would do this like 10 hours a day every day called Anna Ryexia. And truthfully the start gain it, it was good but it wasn't really super crazy. So I'm not going to like super recommend it but it's something you can do if you want to. I will say if you use an ant scout radar in combination with um, your faction specific alternative to the basilisk or you can use a cobalt as well on the ant you can rack up a bunch of kills just because um, because of the scout radar from the ant, you can see where everyone is at all times, and that is super useful. Um, so basically you just drive around in the ant, you see someone that you want to kill, quickly switch to the gunner seat, shoot them, um, and then when you're about to die, you exit the vehicle and continue normally playing as an infantry player. Now that might sound slightly nanite inefficient, but if you have facility modules in combination with the ASP discount, Ants cost 100 nanites, which is very cheap. And if you've got membership as well, yeah, basically you can pull unlimited ants. Keep in mind as well, oftentimes based construction players will go around and place vehicle terminals for you, and you can pull unlimited free vehicles from these vehicle terminals at zero cost to yourself. That's a really useful tip. I use it almost every single day. Construction players for that alone are so useful. Just being able to pull unlimited vehicles is just so, so useful. Another little tip here is you can type slash R to reply to people instead of um, clicking Alt, then clicking their name, 
then clicking send message. Again, type slash R and then just type the message and that will reply directly to the person. Super easy. Likewise, you can tap slash O to type directly to your outfit. That means if you like copying and pasting outfit messages during ops, you can fit more into the message by typing slash O instead of slash outfit say. Another really interesting tip is if you exit a vehicle, you always exit on the left side unless that side is blocked. So you can use that to your advantage if say you're in a Sundra and you want people to deploy from a certain side, just put that um, side next to a wall and then they'll always deploy next to the other side. It genuinely is actually pretty useful. Likewise, it's also useful if you're like exiting an ESF or a Valkyrie just to know exactly where you're going to drop from so that you can accurately drop to where you want to go. Again, because you know you're going to drop on the left side. Super useful to know. Now, by the way, I think that does change if you're like in a um, rumble seat for a Valkyrie or in like one of the other seats for the Galaxy, depending on which gunner you're in. I think that decides if you do if you exit on the right or left side, I think. So yeah, a little bit of nuance there for you. Honestly, this one's a little bit less useful, but you can technically repair people with your AOE heal or medic through walls. I guess that also applies to door frames, so that's somewhat useful. Now, because I have a very fast SSD, I don't really use this tip anymore, but if you're on a hard drive or a slow SSD, it's really useful to know that when um, you're in the loading screen, if you hit the U key, you'll already be redeploying by the time the load screen finishes. So like once you spawn, again, you might be at five seconds of redeploy left instead of 10 seconds because you pressed U whilst you were in the loading screen. The last little tip I wanna give here is when you're in a terminal and you're trying to resupply, hold down E and it will uh, resupply faster than if you just tap E a bunch of times. It will exit the terminal for you automatically. By the way, when you're in these terminals, press like F1, F2, F3, F4 and one, two, three, four, five to navigate the terminals way quicker than moving your mouse. It's just way quicker. So yeah, again, press F1, F2, F3, F4, and one, two, three, four, five to go through the, the loadouts. It's just so useful. Now, if you found these tips useful, keep in mind I've released another video that's just as useful as this one with just as many cool tips, and I recommend checking that out. I do have a playlist of these tips, and that public playlist is on my channel. Now I'd love to hear all of your tips in the comment section and I'll add them to the next video. So, so I strongly encourage you to leave your tips in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already because subscribing helps so much. Now I hope you all have a wonderful week. We do ops on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. You're more than welcome to come join us or just check out the Discord in general. We've got a few thousand people there already and you're more than welcome to join us. Until next time, I'm out. GG. Bye bye.